Covering the election in Benghazi is Al Jazeera correspondent Hoda Abdel Hamid. Ms. Abdel Hamid, we are receiving reports of protesters disrupting polling in the east. What can you tell us about that? Gazi, several attacks on uh, polling stations. Now, if you ask the guards there, they will tell you these are the hardcore supporters of the Federalists. Typically, they went into these polling stations with their guns and took away uh, the ballot boxes, the ink, and the uh, ballot papers. Uh, further afar, in Ashdabia and in Brega, at the moment, there is no voting. The Electoral Commission just told us that five polling stations of, out of 20 in Ashdabia will open shortly shortly for voting. Now this is after the warehouse uh, that had that was that stored all the electoral equipment was torched down on Thursday. Thursday. So thir certainly a lot of tensions, a lot of calls to boycott the vote, but I have to tell you that we are standing here in front of one of the main polling stations in Benghazi and there are a lot more people who are actually voting. These incidents that you're describing, are they signs that there are still major divisions over the question of federalism for Libya? Certainly, they are an indication of that. I think that the idea of federalism, meaning decentralization of power, bringing back uh, Benghazi to its old status of the economical capital of Libya, is one that appeals to most of the people here in the East. What they don't agree on is how to go about it. Many people here will tell you that going to these, that voting at the moment would be a treason to the Eastern region. I'm just going to turn to see what's happening just behind me. There's firing. We have to go. Okay, I'm sorry. We're just trying to figure out. Panic, panic. We're told to get out. We don't really know. We have to go. We have to go. What's happening? Well, thank you very much and good luck. Uh, that was Hoda Abdel Hamid of Al Jazeera.